Biggie was an uh, excellent leader. The, the greatest compliment was his uh, competitive desire and the fact that he was a winner all the way from the time he was a great athlete in Minnesota, became a great coach. And how you measure whether he's a great director or not, it's hard for me to evaluate. But in terms of success, uh, but of terms of success across the board, the greatest period in our athletic history was during his regime as AD, when we were national powers in virtually everything we touched. He wanted a great all-round program. He wanted winners everywhere. Part of that came with the charge he gave to coaches. He, he was appreciative when you won. He was unhappy when you lost. He wanted people to have success. He was a leader in this regard. He did it in an unusual way. He was gruff. He was uh, egotistical. But you can't argue his success. And if you did well, he was there to support you. If you didn't do well, and if you really goofed off, you might have lost your job, as Forty Anderson did. Uh, his career tailed off extensively. In a sense, he, he tended to be a bit bumbling, he was a prima donna, but he was a fighter and competitor, and there was a place for that. He used to tell his coaches, you get every championship meet you can possibly get here. So we, at that time at least, staged more national championship events as hosts. He wanted the facilities in the forefront, the institution in the forefront, and be credited to do a good job, and he would provide the necessary budgets to do it. Now, another thing, too, see, the monies were great in those days. I, I guess he couldn't have operated that way under the crunch that later enveloped us. But that was, if there's ever a golden age for athletics, we may never get back to that in terms of across the board strength. So we've got to give him credit for that. He was one heck of a winner, and he had this great slogan which people laughed at and it was kind of uh, corny but he had it and it was true the difference between good and great is a little extra effort he used to have that in big letters across the lobby at Jenison everything that he did he used to have it there but it made sense he had great pride he wanted his people to compete he was proud of his athletes and supported his coaches, and I can't say enough for that competitive fire that he had. This has been an MGP Entertainment production.